Prime okay. Minister Manmohan Singh has said India will double its renewable energy capacity from 25,000 megawatt in 2012 to 55,000 megawatt by 2017. On We Mean Business tonight, we discuss whether in the current environment where interest and investments in the clean energy sector have cooled off substantially, are these targets realistic? We'll also talk about how critical it is to bring renewables into the mainstream at a time when our dependence on fossil fuels has become virtually virtually unsustainable. Joining us on the show is a very distinguished panel. V. Sai Baba, CEO of Lanco Solar, joins us from the capital. Dr. Pradeepto Ghosh, former secretary at the MOEF and distinguished fellow at Terry, joins in from our New Delhi studios. So does Narendra Saneja, energy expert and Seshan Balakrishnan, director at Ernst & Young, joins us live from Hyderabad. I also spoke earlier with Suman Sinha, chairman and CEO of Renew Power. But before we play out that conversation, let's first get across to Rajkumar Sai for our big headline of the day, the outcomes from the CCI and the CCEA meetings that were underway. Raj, what's the latest? Well, significant, significant decisions that have been taken by the Cabinet Committee of Investment and Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs. Uh, let's break it into two parts. First, let's deal with the uh, Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs or CCA decision that was basically supposed to decide on whether coal pool pricing will be applicable for the imported coal that will be imported by Coal India for supporting 80% of uh, you know, quantity supply to the uh, power companies. For that, what has happened, there are three subcategories the cabinet basically has decided, the CCA has decided. One is the pre-2009 projects, which is about 64 or 65,000 megawatt, and majorly these are NTPC projects. For these projects, only the domestic notified price of coal will be applicable. So for them, the business is as usual, there is no change. For the next category, that is post-2009 power plants, there is one category where the PPA is signed for passing through the cost of coal or fuel. For that, it will be cost plus basis. So whatever coal is imported by Coal India and supplied to any uh, power producer and whatever cost is incurred by uh, Coal India for importing that quantity of coal, so that will be passed on, so that will be cost plus basis. For rest of the capacity, that is about 24, 25,000 megawatt, it is work in progress. So when we asked the minister after the, after the meeting, he said that there's a, the coal pool pricing, the mechanism is out of the window. So there's no concept as such like coal pool pricing. So the, for these 24,000 megawatt, uh, you know, uh, the, what would be the mechanism that will be applicable, that is yet to be decided. And, a, a, you know, a, a committee or a, a report will be submitted to the uh, Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs in three weeks' time. And then the final decision will be taken, now whether it will be cost plus basis or the, whether it will be domestic notified pricing. So what would be the final picture? Now when we come to the CCI, the Cabinet Committee of Investment, there are the two things. One is the 20 power projects and about 30, 31 uh, uh, coal, uh, oil and gas blocks. So oil and gas blocks, there are 25 blocks which has been cleared out of these 25 blocks. 16 has been given all clearance and rest 9 has been given some kind of conditional uh, clearance and, and these blocks actually include the uh, blocks of uh, RIL, blocks of ONGC, majorly ba basically the blocks of RIL, uh, blocks of uh, ONGC and also uh, one or two blocks of uh, Santos and uh, the Australian company and Kane India. So that is the first part. The second part is the 20 power projects for which uh, the Cabinet Committee of Investment has actually decided on 13 they have given all clearance, either it is the environment clearance, forest clearance or any kind of clearances to 13 projects and these projects are, uh, you know, transmission projects, the power production projects uh, uh, which also include thermal and hydro. So they have given all clearance to 13 projects. And for seven projects, the work is in progress and for which the power ministry will again come to the CCI and then the final call will be taken. So all in all, big ticket investment approvals has been given by the Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs and Cabinet Committee of Investment. So all in all, the energy sector was in focus and that will get a big boost after all this decision has been taken by the CCI and CCEA. Raj, thanks for getting us those details. Let's now begin the show by hearing out the conversation I had earlier with Suman Sinha of Renew Power and began by asking him for his thoughts on the PM's comments, whether they hold any merit, especially in the current environment where renewable energy has been facing significant amount of headwinds. I think if there, there are two parts to this answer. If you look historically, except for last year, historically renewables have consistently exceeded the targets that have been set for them in the various five-year plans. So over a five-year time period, surely renewables have always exceeded the target. Last year was an aberration primarily because 
the fact the accelerated depreciation uh, market went away, which is fine. But then on top of that, the generation-based incentive uh, feature was not announced. It was finally announced in the budget uh, that Mr. Chidambaram presented in February, but it still not officially got implemented. So the government has been talking about GBI now for the last uh, eight, nine months, and it has been assuring all of us in the industry that it will be um, applicable. But unfortunately, the wheels of government move somewhat, uh, uh, you know, take their own time. And so we're still awaiting the announcement, the formal announcement of GBI. Now, as a result of this uh, dampener, that is the reason why the capacity in wind primarily last year was not very high. Uh, having said that, my view is that the government at the central level has done uh, more or less everything else that it could to create the right enabling environment. And so therefore, if you ask me honestly, I think over a five-year time period uh, through this 12th five-year plan, notwithstanding that the first year was not very good, I believe that the target is entirely achievable. And if you look at the breakdown of the, of the 30,000 megawatt target that has been set, basically 15,000 megawatts is wind, which if you ask me from an execution standpoint is absolutely doable. Uh, it's just a question of getting a few of these policy issues right, and I'm sure we'll talk about what those are. Um, and the second thing is, uh, you know, solar accounts for 10,000 megawatts. There's a lot of supply of solar coming in. Uh, 